Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation in Seattle with a note on how to transfer files wirelessly at sea. That means without any internet connection. And so what we will be doing is be using a local network that we set up on the boat, or you already have one on the boat. And um, so there's two elements of this. First, we need an app, and there's a and this is a free app. Um, and I'm gonna put the link in the down in the description here so you can get it. But here's the one I've been using. It's called Easy Transfer File Download. And again, I'll put the um, I'll put the link. There's so many of these. There's there's tons of them, but I'll, I'll put a, but they're hard to find. So I'll find that. And then on the phone, on the phone, it has an icon that looks like this. And so what I want to just show now is we'll look at um, moving some files around between the phone simultaneously. Simultaneously, that means these are automatically synced uh, between a phone and uh, my Mac computer here, and on my left over here is a PC computer, which I'll show you. In fact, maybe I'll show that now. Um, let me pick up the phone and go to um, go to the uh, camera. Okay. So here we have a PC I'm using. Then I want to, and then, okay, okay, over here is my Mac I'm using, but it's on a screen here. And then the phone I've got in my hand. But the other thing I want to point out is this is what's making our local network. This is an optimizer. I think a red port optimizer. A lot of boats have these. These are just devices that you use to um, uh, transmit any kind of NEMA signals to an app. Um, uh, um, you just plug them in and it'll, it'll wireless uh, send them to a, a, the app. You have to have an app for it. Uh, and you can d put your cell phone on, I mean your uh, satellite phone on there as well. Um, the, other, the, the other thing to point out is Iridium Go will work the same way. This device we're looking at here is sending out a, the, its Wi-Fi signal. Let me just see if I can do this without getting into trouble. Now I'm back up here. Let me look at my, see this, oh, I don't know if you can see it yet here. I'll have to move everything over so you can. But this is the signal here, WXA, whatever that is. That's the Wi-Fi signal being put out by, the, uh, by the, this, this optimizer. And now if I interrupt the phone again, let's see, go to there. Okay, and there you see, that's what I'm reading on here. And then... If we go back over here to the phone, if I don't dummy up here, you see that's we're seeing that over there. So these devices, the Mac, the PC, and the phone are all set. They're all talking to each other, wireless network, and that network is coming right out of this little box here, totally owned by me. And... Um, I can do this in the middle of the ocean, right? And and before, and okay, I'll show you one other one. This is one we happen to have in the box. It's sort of a backup that we have. This is a nice thing. It's called an Air AirPlay, maybe. Uh, it's the it's the Apple standard Apple uh, uh, wireless router. However, these are kind of expensive. Let me show you this um, here. Let me move this aside and let me move. The, whoops, can I move that aside? Yeah, well, maybe. See if I can grab that. Here's one that's on Amazon. This one, I, this is just a picture here, just a picture. But this one is called a Hutu, and it's got like a thousand positive reviews, right? And this thing here is $20. And look at that, how small that is. And that works off 5 volts. That, so you would just, this is a USB plugs in the side of your computer, and that's charging. So this thing, <laughs> I don't know if it's a snake eating its tail here, but this thing is charging itself and then making the Wi-Fi a link that's connecting everybody together. Uh, that's kind of cute. So I, I don't have one of these yet, but I'm thinking to get one. But anyway, so my thoughts are any boat going offshore should put, uh, put that app, you know, or some equivalent, not necessarily this particular app that I'm using, you know, put that app on your on your phone, 
and then uh, get one of these things. If you don't have a, a, a Iridium Go, and I don't know if I mentioned that, Iridium Go works perfectly well for this. Iridium Go is a wireless router by itself that's sending out a connection you can connect to and use for transfers. Or get one of these Hutus, $20. And that would be nice to have. And you for sure want to get the app before you go because it would be very hard to download one of these apps once you get offshore and you, you forgot to do it. So I would download one or two of the apps and just have those ready to go. Okay, then let me just show quickly how this works and we're done. Uh, I can move this out of the way for now. And this we don't need. Okay, oh, well, let me come back to the phone because you do it all from here. Whoops, I don't have that much control over this. Whoops. Maybe I can get it down here. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not very experienced at moving this, uh, this display of the phone around. Um, okay, what am I after? Okay, I'm going to go back to the app now. So there's the app. And when you plug, when you turn the app on, then you see this, these buttons up here. These three buttons and then push those and what you're doing is a wire transfer so we're going to click that part of it here wire transfer wire transfer and then here you see the key to the whole thing that's the IP address that you're going to type into your uh, uh, type into your uh, browser on your PC oh well on your computer or whatever or on your other phone it could be a different phone or it could be an iPad it could be anything it could be a friend's iPad uh, so that's there. And likewise, um, let me go back here. Whoops. Let me go back to the camera. And you see here, that's what I've typed in on the PC. Right there, that address. And then the files, the files then, where they're actually stored is, um, well, they're probably, they're actually now on all three computers. But I've, I've downloaded them to all three, all three devices. But um, let me go here. Uh, OK, then um, back to here. So these are the files that are now at, um, on all places. So if I just take, and I'm going to not do too much in this. So let me take, here's a Jack London quote or something just on my Mac. I'm going to bring it over and drop it. So that's now, this Jack London quote is here. Look at that. It's in my phone already. And if I go over to the, uh, over to the PC, this is a little bit awkward business here. If I go over to the PC, there it is on the PC, right? And if I want it then, when I'm on the PC, can okay, I grab another mouse here? If I want it, I could just then download, click this button here and download it. Uh, well, I don't know what happened. I'm I'm I, I'm not coordinated here to do I'm, I have four things going on at once. But anyway, the whole point is you can uh, download these, you can download these and move the files around just as if they're uh, just as if they're sharing uh, uh, sharing a folder. And um, that's what that's all I want to say right now. I'm getting, it's just too confusing. But it's the actual operation is not confusing. Making a video of it and trying to show three things at once is. But try it once. Just use you can use your own network to see it all work. Then if you want to make it really work, then just unplug your internet cable, internet cable from your network, you know, from your uh, from your home router. Un unplug your internet cable and you'll see that you can still do everything um, okay so I'm gonna stop there while I before I break everything and that's the process